And we're back, and on this episode of Rad BMX Builds, we have a special treat for you. All the way from the 80s garage, I have a 1987 Mongoose M1. This is not built by me. I need to give full credit where credit is due. The 80s garage built this bike. It's been used in media such as Flight BMX as a promo for their new Mongoose pads. When I saw this bike, I absolutely fell in love with it. I reached out to David at the 80s garage and I asked to buy it. I gave him an offer, we countered, went back and forth a bit, and I couldn't be happier with the purchase price. I just need to make sure that I give David his credit at the 80s garage for this custom build. I wanted it for my collection. This bike is not for sale, but I have to show it to you because it is a beautiful work of art. So we're gonna do an unboxing, an assembly, and of course, a ride on the beach. Let's check it out. Okay, as you saw, I've got the bike completely unboxed. Let's go over its inventory and take a look at the condition after I've unpackaged it and laid it out for display. Let's see what we're working with. This is a fully redone 1987 Mongoose M1, done in Malibu mint with pink accents like valve stem caps, chain ring bolts, the new Flight Mongoose pads, these are MKS graphite pedals. And this is just in beautiful condition. I absolutely love this bike. It does not disappoint. Now that it's here in my garage, it's just even better in person. Let's come around to the front. Amazing. Decals, paint, everything are perfect. SR stem, Skyway Tough 2s. Just a gorgeous build. I couldn't be happier with it actual mongoose parts and components loop tail i mean this is gorgeous i couldn't be happier with it thank you so much let's get it on the stand and build this bike so we can see what it looks like all put together okay before we go any further it's winter it's getting colder out go over to my website and grab yourself a hoodie get some merch grab a hat whatever you want new merch drop happen with or without the new paint splatter with the word builds or without it's up to you radbmxbuilds.com slash merch go get you some we appreciate your support thank you very much moving on to the bike build
Okay, there it is. Very simple assembly. Bike went together very well. Didn't really have any problems. I need to tighten the headset a little bit. Put some air in the tires. And that's about it. Had to adjust the brakes a bit, no big deal. But this bike is super clean. Beautiful bike. Probably gonna clean this up a little bit. Just probably got dirty in the box. But overall, a gorgeous bike. It's just my opinion, but I think this brake cable's a little long, so I'm probably gonna trim that up a bit. Take about four or five inches out of it. And then it's just gonna be perfect for me. And the last thing is to put these pads on. These pads go absolutely perfect with this bike. So we'll put pads on, put some air in the tires, and take it for a ride. Okay, real quick, a few simple tools that I use in the installation of this bike. And these can be found in the link below on my Amazon store. Crystal is a clear grease that I used on the threads for the pedals. Of course, a 15 millimeter wrench to put the front wheel on and tighten those bolts. This is a pedal wrench by Park Tool. I swear by this company, they make great tools to work on your bikes with. And this I use on every single bike, almost every single day. This is a Park Tool AWS-1. It's got three different sizes, which are the common sizes used on any BMX bike, along with my Park Tool bike stand. So go ahead, click the link below to my Amazon store and go find yourself some really capable tools for your really rad bike. Okay, let's talk about this bike a little bit. First and foremost, I have to thank David over at the 80s Garage. If you're not following him, here's his Instagram. Go give that guy a follow for some really rad 80s content. He's a collector of all things, not just bikes. So anything 80s, this man has the ultimate man cave. I want you to go check him out. All right, let's talk about the bike. I did not build this bike. The 80s Garage did. I bought it complete, built from them for my collection, which is kind of unique. I've honestly have never done that before, but I loved this bike when I saw it, and I just wanted to add it to my collection. Instead of trying to find one and build it, this was done exactly how I would have done it. The colors, everything are perfect. So why go through all the hassle if I can just try to get it from a friend? And it worked out really well for the two of us. So the Amy Grips Tech 77 lever, SR stem, the mongoose bars, forks, cranks, power disc. I mean, everything is just amazing. The Skyway wheels, the MX-1000 rear brake, the, uh, the seat, the seat post. I'm a big fan of when it's color matched. The bars, the seat post, the frame, and the forks, when they all match, that's pure gold for me. I love the way that looks. And these are iconic 80s colors right here. This 
Malibu Mint is the official name of that color. It's kind of a seafoam green or, I mean, this, this color has had several names over the years, but Mongoose has coined it Malibu Mint. And it's beautiful in person. And as you saw in this video and some of the photos, it just looks amazing in the, in the bright sunlight out on the beach. So I'm filming this video a little bit before you're gonna see it, uh, but I wanted to get this documented right when I got it, pull it out of the box for you, build it, take it for a little ride, and I hope you really enjoyed it. Comment down below if you like this bike and you like this type of content. So I'm gonna go enjoy this bike a bit more. I gotta go edit this video, and I have a rad day planned today. So make sure you grab some merch, a shirt, a hoodie, a hat, whatever. Help support me in this channel so we can keep bringing you rad content. And as always, stay rad.